Hey guys, so I am actually here. I'm here in Jerusalem. This is Wesley John Wallace in Jerusalem, and I'm pretty pumped. Um, right here, right here. Uh, mm, where is it? Yeah, right there. That's the house of prayer. So that's the Katalil, um, where I've been staying. Just downstairs, that is my apartment. Fun fact this right here is uh, the Valley of Ben Hinnom, um, which historically in ancient Israel was where a lot of like sacrifices to idols happened, um, where people sacrifice their children, their babies, and such. So it's really cool, I think, for uh, well, one, Sukkotalel to be right where it is, right in the valley, um, kind of overlooking the valley. To be a part of the redemption of like the entire history of the valley and also for me to be here so yeah um that's that's whole the entire landscape uh over that side are uh where am i so bad at this right there's some arab neighborhoods over that side primarily arabs um on this side primarily hebrews jewish people right um so yeah that's that's like the landscape um this this video is the first of like 10 to 12 like just weekly videos hopefully of me just updating you guys what's been up while i've been here um so i'm going to just run you guys through last week sorry it's late it was supposed to be i was supposed to record it like two days ago but i'm just getting around to it um so last week saturday i Arrived here in Jerusalem, uh, not in Jerusalem, in Tel Aviv, actually in Israel. I arrived in Tel Aviv. Um, I got detained because the guys weren't, the passport control peeps weren't satisfied that I was coming here to pray and worship for three months. Uh, it was a bad answer to them, and so I got detained. Um, it was a short detention, though, like 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, and then they let me out. Um, I caught a taxi of sorts straight from Tel Aviv right to Jerusalem to where I'm staying at Sukkot It was about an hour, I guess. And then there was like, they were having a meeting for the interns. So the in interns were meeting with staff um, just to kind of like familiarize themselves with the space, with each other. So there was a whole introduction thing that was happening um, at that point in time. So I got, I got there kind of in the middle of that. Um, and then after that, that was it for the night. So nothing else happened on Saturday night. Um, Sunday, though, we, we, we had a whole tour of the major parts of the city. So um, well, I guess I shouldn't say major, but like shopping hubs, places you can go to just the lifestyle stuff. So um, just so that we could be acquainted with the space and we could know like where to go if we want food, if we want to go out, and if we want to chill somewhere, like all that. So that was um, Sunday during the day. In the evening on Sunday, we went to a church called King of Kings, which is kind of in the center of the city. Um, and there, uh, we had a great worship time. Worship was great. And then after that, there was, the speaker came out to speak on Yom Kippur, which was um, a feast of a feast of the Jews, which, which was held last week. Um, by the way, guys, I came kind of in the middle of like some, like, two of the major Jewish feasts, uh, which, well, I guess, yeah, two of the major Jewish feasts, which was, for me, that's pretty exciting. And it's been a great time just getting to know the culture and stuff. Um, but yeah, so he spoke on Yom Kippur, which I'll give some more details of like a bit from now. But um, that's what happened on Sunday, the whole day on Sunday. And then on Tuesday, which would actually be the day of Yom Kippur, uh, Tuesday evening into Wednesday evening would be Yom Kippur. There, the interns, um, myself and, f and five other people around uh, my age, I guess, they, we had a teaching on Yom Kippur. Well, not on, on the Feast of, of the Jews and then on Yom Kippur. Um, teaching on the Feast of the Jews was just like kind of looking at the significance of the feast, like in the Lord's eyes, in, in the earth, and, and whether, Christians, oh, uh, whether Christians should honor or yeah, whether Christians should honor the Jewish feast or should be interested at all. And the answer, um, the conclusion of that was kind of yes. Uh, so I can't talk about all that now. So if you want more information on that, you can just link me up, I guess, and we'll talk about it somewhere. Um, 
not to say that we should legalistically not to say that we should legalistically honor Jewish feasts. That wasn't the point. Um, so as I say, if you want more information on that, then you can hit me up and we talk about that somewhere. Um, and then the next half of the teaching was on Yom Kippur, uh, which which is really a day of atonement. So it's really a day of the um, for the entirety of Israel. The entirety of Israel kind of shuts down for the day, and um, they're just like repentant prayers offered up, offered up to the Lord. I mean, repentance for like whatever may have been done over the past year, so that they can be kind of um, justified for the year to come. I don't want to say justified, but I can't remember. I can't really remember the word that I'm thinking of. Atoned, um, uh, without content to be without sin for the upcoming year, sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that is that was Tuesday evening to Wednesday evening. Wednesday afternoon, I actually had my first set, uh, which was which was good. It was at one and a half. That was my first time doing a set for one and a half. So that was good. Um, I did it with two of the other interns. And then on Wednesday evening, we broke the fast for Yom Kippur. Uh, Wednesday morning, sorry, we actually had some more teachings done by um, a staff member on Yom Kippur. And then we broke the fast on Wednesday evening. Uh, sorry, I'm going quickly, guys, but it's a lot. So Thursday, Thursday, the whole day on Thursday, um, or the morning on Thursday, we took the morning to visit the Old City, which is, uh, uh, what am I looking at? Yeah, the Old City, which is all of that right there. All of this, let me see if I can circle this properly. All of this area, sort of. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but right, I guess you can't see it because I can't see, it. but somewhere right here, if you see a little gold tip, that's the Temple Mount. Um, so we visited, visited the Temple Mount where the first and second temple were erected. Currently, it's a um, it's kind of governed by muslims uh, but we know that like there's going to reclaim all that and that's going to be his holy hill and he rule and reign there uh, but yeah so we visited the old city uh, just spent some time touring there praying um just getting to know like the place from also like a biblical standpoint understanding where like jesus walked um we would have walked like up to his crucifixion stuff like that so that was really cool um, we spent mostly that was the only active thing that we did on Thursday and then on Friday evening was Shabbat of course which is just a day of just a day of rest rest Friday evening to Saturday evening was Shabbat um, we went to Martin and Norma's house we were two people on staff here um, and we had Shabbat dinner there that was great the food was good the um, it was a good time I was just chilling um, and just sharing like different cultures we spoke about languages uh, so that was cool and then there was like a whole spontaneous worship time after that and uh, that was Sat Friday evening into Saturday evening and yeah so that was practical last week the major the major focus of last week was really Yom Kippur the day of atonement and all that that's about um, oh one other thing I wanted to share with you uh, well the Lord has been like what he's been that's what we did corporately what he's been doing with me personally while I've been here one he's been really like awakening my heart in terms of love for Jerusalem and by extension Israel um, so he's been having me like wake up each morning at 5 30 even when I don't set my alarm which a lot of you may know is not like me at all I'm waking up at 5 30 to just like pray pray over the city of Jerusalem and over Israel um, and that's been like really really good for my heart I think uh, and the next thing is my friend loaned me this book um, so I've been reading that and I really never expected it to be good uh, honestly but it has been so incredible um, and something that the Lord has been revealing to me in just like through my, in praying and through reading the book as well and also through the teachings Yom Kippur and other stuff is just like really how significant Israel is um, in just like the establishing of all the Lord's plans for the earth um, and also just like how, how resolute and committed he is to honoring his um, promise the promises he he has made to Abraham and to Israel by extension um, and uh, so yeah so that's that was practically my week last week uh, I'll sorry I'm late with this video I'll be sending or recording the next video regarding the 
this current week at the end of the week ideally um and i'll like i'll share everything that's happened this week in that video um so yeah guys pray for israel pray for jerusalem um it may seem uh disconnected from like your own personal interest but one of the things that the lord has really been showing me is just that um the interests of israel are 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 not removed from from um the gentile nations and and christians that are not israelites and such uh it's actually a part of the all of it is in within the three three or the covenant that god made with abraham um and so as Israel is brought into the fullness of her destiny, so will the other Gentile nations be brought into the fullness of their destiny. So praying for Israel is really just praying for the entire earth. Um, so yeah, pray for Israel. Pray for me that I get all I'm supposed to get from this time. Um, that I won't miss anything. Please, guys, please pray for me. Please, 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 please. Uh, and yeah, so that's what's been up. Um, I, in terms of, in terms of funds. Uh, I still need 2,000 US. I'm still trusting the Lord to like just provide the rest of that for my time here. Um, if you are interested, if you want to give, I'll have like like links below in the description and such. And so yeah, uh, please feel free to give. Like the Lord has been like blessing my heart incredibly through you guys, and I just really want to say thanks for the partnerships and um, the support that you guys have been lending to me i really really or giving to me i guess i should say i really appreciate it and thanks so much for being a part of this journey in my heart and in all that lord is doing in my life yeah bless you guys and i'll see you in a few days see ya later